<laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm just going to wait for this stream to show that it's live. Everybody hear me all right? I don't see it showing on my thing here, so I'll give it a second. There we are. There we are. Hey, everyone. We're here. Let me make sure we got volume. Can everybody hear me? There we are. There we go. Hey, everyone. The delay. Oh, I know. That's going to throw me off. <laughs> Looking at myself after I've said stuff. <laughs> Don't look at yourself. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you guys all moderators, all the people I know. Uh, I'm going to make you guys moderators in case we get the troll squad showing up today. We don't want the trolls. So if any of you guys see the trolls, just hide their comments. Uh, and hopefully we don't get flooded with the troll, with, with the troll gang. We all know who they are. Um, so here we are. I'm AGK. And this is? Allie Claire. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is Allie Claire. And uh, we finally are doing this, finally. <laughs> What's it been, like a year delay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We first planned this. I'm adding moderators, don't mind me. Um, we first planned this for November, wasn't it? I think it was the end of November. And then we canceled it to December. I was supposed to see her in December. But we had the lockdown thing happening here. And then we canceled it again. Yeah. So finally, after, what, six months, seven months, we're, we're here. We're it's here. longer than that, actually. I know. It's, 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 <laughs> the past two years has felt like five years. I know. I know. I, yeah, I think year. we were supposed to shoot even last summer and stuff. And, yeah, and yeah. we kept putting it off. No. We kept saying, well, when the numbers are better and when this is better and when, when that is better. Um, now things are better. Now things are Yeah, they're, well, I mean, they're not great. I mean, we're still 300 and some odd, but yeah, everybody's got I got it. my first vaccine, getting my second vaccine on Monday. And so am so, I. Yeah. Where are you going for your vaccine? Um, like North York. North York? So. Yeah, I'm going to right out here in Mississauga. Yeah. So we're both getting vaccinated, our sec second vaccine on Monday. I'm happy. Things I think, they, if people behave themselves, maybe we won't go into another lockdown. Please. Ontario <laughs> public, just behave yourself so we don't have a fourth wave, please. So, so I've got Allie here, and like I said, I wanted to do this uh, little interview. This is, I know this is the vinyl community, but a lot of people know from watching me in streams that I've talked a lot about that I, I'm, I'm a semi-retired glamour boudoir photographer. Um, I've appeared in uh, over 70 different magazines, uh, publishing, 70 magazine publishings, everything, uh, FX, Sam, uh, Snap Matter, Browse. Uh, FHM, Maxim, uh, even the Playboy Cyber Club website, uh, a lot of things. And I've been blessed to have 16 actual cover, cover magazine covers. And one of those magazine covers was <laughs> Allie right here. She was one of my magazine covers. She got, she was model of the month and got the cover shot. So I'm really, really happy with that. And uh, have you had, had a lot of covers now? Oh uh, yeah, a number of them. A number of <laughs> it's them. Pretty good. <laughs> so we're gonna get, we're gonna start. I'll I'll take questions from the floor in a few minutes. Um, but first, we're gonna talk about Ellie. It's, this is all about her. We're gonna talk about her modeling, and then we're gonna talk about some music she that she likes. Me nervous. I never do these live streams. Yeah, this is easy peasy. This is easy peasy. <laughs> easy peasy. You're doing great. Okay, so how did you get into modeling? So modeling. So I went to school for art, actually. Um, and so part of my education was drawing art models nude. And then I found out that what those are models made was like more than minimum wage, which was like, I think minimum wage was like $10 at the time. You can make like $30 art modeling. Mm. So I got into that and then I was popular with that. And then I realized for photography, I don't have to stand still for like two hours and hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a lot more fun. So. Oh, so you were doing like, uh, you, you was, were one of those ones that just like sits there holding, yeah, a, yeah. holding like, an apple like or something while people sketch stuff. you? Yeah, yeah, people would sketch me and you know, some people want like dynamic poses, but then they want you to hold them for like hours. So, oh my gosh, yeah, um, I can see that. It's, it's a lot more work. <laughs> and uh, so I got into the just like sort of more artistic like photography, nude modeling, and then... Um, the glamour stuff just kind of evolved from there. People now, started. when did you start your modeling? 
Oh, how many, how many mirrors have been doing this now? I got, I was still want to say, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people to know how old I am. I think it's well, been you like, can, you can hint at it. It's been just over a decade now. So really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's cool. That's cool. And now was it now when you started modeling, you, did you went jump right into the nude stuff right away? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> this will make so much money. <laughs> <laughs> and, and did you, were you nervous about it all when you first started doing like nude modeling? Uh, no, I think just because the environment, like art school, you're used to that kind of stuff. So it, it just never really struck me as being anything like super Yeah, I guess, or... yeah, yeah, I guess it was, it's better than jumping straight into nude modeling in front of camera if you were like getting Yeah, like, yeah, I think people I, were sketching you. And I then... always recommend for models starting out to like start out with that because it's very kind of like low pressure. Like it's not super glamorous. You don't have to worry about looking a certain way. It's just kind of like natural posing and things like that. Uh, so it was a good... Uh, good graduation into photography and glamour modeling and and, and how much longer do you think you're going to do it you, any <laughs> you, you loving it still yeah i think before people start paying me to keep my clothes on <laughs> <laughs> well i don't I, think that's going to happen anytime soon because she's absolutely gorgeous <laughs> i've worked with you what three or four times now um over a number of years over now, a number of yeah. years now yes we've worked together over so, a number of years and we always have fun when we work together we're going to be doing some work today yeah so that's why this is going to be a short stream because ali and i got some photos to take hopefully we've got a few years left of doing this and working together yes absolutely absolutely i love working with this girl she's so great <laughs> And um, so you're heading out, to, and I, I know you're heading out to BC or something. Yeah, yeah. Now that things are opening up, everyone's like flooding my DMs. Oh, let's shoe, let's shoe. I'm like, sorry, I'm leaving. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll you be You didn't kind of travel nice... at all, I take it, in the last year. I went to BC actually just to visit with my sister, and she had a good setup because BC at the time was like no restrictions almost compared to Ontario. Mm. Um, I was able to be separate to, from her in her house and yeah. But you didn't go to back, you didn't go to work when you went to BC that time. You just went to. No, to I just went for relaxing. <laughs> and, I, and so now have you been doing a lot of work now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. The past few weeks are really busy. I've got like another shoot on Sunday, another shoot on Monday and some more stuff coming up before I leave. So. Um, now another question uh, I know people want to know is Playboy. How did you end up? being in the Playboy Cyber Club. What, who got you there? How did that, how was that? Cause you did that, you did those shoots down south in. Yeah, that was in Mexico. In Mexico. That was a lot of fun. Cause I never actually been to Mexico before. So that was a big adventure. <laughs> and um, yeah, cause Sandra Keys, the photographer that shot me, she ended up contacting me uh, through this mo model website called Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem, yeah, that's where, yeah, I, where I think exactly. I'm listed on. I don't know if I got found you through Model Mayhem originally or not. I might have. Yeah, most people find me through Instagram nowadays. I feel like it's a little more outdated. So she contacted me through there and I was thinking, this person contacting you about shooting for Playboy, like that's definitely a scam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't believe it at first. Though. I didn't believe it, yeah. <laughs> so then I actually went through the application process and everything and got in and I was sort of like, wow. <laughs> was it a big process, the application process? No, it was just a quick little like questionnaire, some photos of myself and then like a little video about why I want to shoot with Playboy and it was pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah. And then the rest is history. And you yeah. were, uh, I guess you were what, a cyber girl, the cyber girl of the, yeah. which is a online version of a Playboy. Yeah, and they've changed that now. Now it's like uh, Play Playboy Muse, Playboy Plus Muse. Oh, is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, they're not calling it cyber girl anymore. Oh, really? I think they're sort of moving in a more sort of artistic direction rather well, yeah, than more yeah, like because... glamour. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think Playboy isn't what it used to be. It's not like no. the, the days of old with the centerfold mag. When, when the centerfolds ended, uh, I think in 2015, and then they went to yeah. to having models fully dressed. That was a big fail. Uh, yeah. And then that, now they've come back to having nude centerfolds again, but they're not the fold out. And, and I don't think the print magazine does anything yeah. really. You know, that's one of my biggest regrets is I didn't pursue trying to shoot with Playboy while Hugh Hefner was still alive. That's yeah it's too bad but. so you are you, you shot with he was already gone when you uh yeah yeah i think he'd been gone a couple of years it was 2018 so okay i'd have to check that i'm not exactly sure but I yeah you were so you were so she's a flame so that, that's what it's like so you never went to the mansion or anything no <laughs> <laughs> i really missed out <laughs> <laughs> well i think playboy was happy to have you i'm happy to know her she's great she's so much fun <laughs> to work with anybody has any questions pop them in the chat Pop them in the chat. I haven't looked over here to see what everyone's saying. Hey, Neam. Nice things. Hey, Neam. How are you doing? Nice to see you here. 
gonna add i'm adding everybody as a moderator just to play it safe so far we're so so shout far out so to good any trolls that have showed up yeah shout out to any trolls that have showed up <laughs> but nobody's showing up yet no trolls have shown up so that's good anybody have any questions fire them away fire them away in the chat any questions for ellie fire them away and i will uh she seems a bit nervous. I nervous. am so nervous, actually. I'm dying <laughs> over here. Yeah, I was trying to see you. <laughs> no, great. no, you're being very nice. I was a little bit nervous. I don't talk much on camera live. I don't do much video work. I am mostly photography. So yeah, this you're not little... used to like yeah. You all just yeah, especially and... live stuff. I'm not used to speaking live on camera. But so. does it does it feel like so you're thank live? you for being nice to me? <laughs> <laughs> Have you worked with any famous musicians through through your modeling? Oh, famous musicians. Actually, so I got my start around when I started modeling. I used to go-go dance at this bar called Cherry Colas, and they're a live music venue. So I did uh, meet some musicians through there. Ian DeSaw was um, someone who I met a few times because he DJed there from a, a Billy Iver. Sorry, Billy Talent, not Billy Iver. Billy, oh, from Billy Talent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, also, Care Failure from Die Mannequin. Um, yeah. Uh, Sorry, Die see. Mannequin. I, I might have actually just screwed that up. Sorry. <laughs> I'm very nervous. <laughs> You're doing fine. You're great. You're great. Uh, let's see. Uh, favorite shoot. Do you have a favorite shoot you did? Favorite shoot? I don't really have a favorite one. Um, actually... One shoot that I did that was really cool was I woke up at like 2 a.m. and went to this lake in the middle of nowhere with a photographer. Now, was that here in Ontario? In or? Ontario, actually. Yeah, near uh, King City. And we got these amazing shots of like the sun coming up and there's sort of mist over the lake. That was pretty cool. But I really don't you favor wouldn't put Playboy shoot. down. You wouldn't put Playboy down as a favorite shoot? <laughs> I loved shooting with Playboy. I can't knock Playboy. It wasn't. It wasn't anything crazy. Like it's. It's definitely not as glamorous as I think that uh, people would make it out to be. I'm just trying to. Find it's, it's a pretty normal standard shoot. Going to Mexico was cool. It was actually really cold the entire time I was there. It was like 16, 17 degrees. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a record because a, a member of the audience asked me yesterday to, to, for you to show this record, and now I forgot to pull it out. And I can't find it. So I'll pull it out later, JJ. I know what you want me to have her show you. If I can find it, I will pull it out. I want to do that after. Let's get back to the questions. Um, let's see. What else do we have going on here? Come on, people. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Now you, you guys are all shy now, you see? I think I may be making them nervous. <laughs> Everybody's nervous, except me. I'm not I nervous. know, you're relaxed. And what's your favorite genre of music? There you go, Miranda Halter. Genre of music, honestly, I think I oscillate between like current, like hip hop, uh, pop music, and then like 60s and 50s music. So my uh, playlist on my iPod is like not a hit. <laughs> Party, <laughs> it's, it's a bit eclectic. But there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. So hip hop's your hip hop's your jam. Now do you you have a lot of music at photo shoots, right? Do a lot of people play music at photo shoots? Yeah, I, honestly, for me, I'm not super picky. I like lots of the different genres and types of music. It's mainly if I'm at a shoot, I like stuff to be upbeat. No, like slow country jams at a shoot. <laughs> well, JJ, I'm trying to find your 22 explosive hits here, but I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble finding your 22 great hits record i don't know where it went oh we're getting to favor bands and artists and stuff in a little in a minute <laughs> yeah Is there, did we have another question there yeah yeah well you can answer that question later. oh it was what what my favorite artists are oh okay yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna do that in a second uh i cannot find that that record jj i had a, a ktel record that pretend you're holding a ktel record up for jj <laughs> i just go like this <laughs> I can't find it, JJ. I had a KTEL album, Rebel Rouser, to show, and I don't know where it went. Well, is it one of those, like, mix? Yeah, you know albums? the ones, 22 I love original. those. That's, like, for, for vinyls, I really do enjoy those weird mixes that There you go. Out. So she likes Stuff KTEL. Like hooked on Cla Hooked on Classics or whatever, the, the disco beat music. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hooked uh, on Classics, yeah. yeah. Um, 
So I have a few of those kind of albums. Those are fun. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do, yeah, we'll do music. Have you had any problems with the feminist movement for what you do? No, I think a lot of the movement right now is like about empowerment. I feel like it's kind of the opposite. I feel like everyone, especially since the pandemic, everyone's got an OnlyFans account. Everyone's like, yeah, you get it, girl. But um, I do feel bad. One thing I'll say is for some people I've worked with, like photographers that I've worked with for years or friends that uh, it's, it's, you really have to watch what you're saying and doing nowadays. And people have a very short fuse for anything that they might misinterpret. So I do feel for uh, <laughs> some guys that it's affected. I think there's, you know, you can't go so far one way that you're mm -hmm. going the other way. You know? uh, what movies do you like? Can you name a few favorites from JJ? Oh, JJ's got a movies. lot of questions. Oh my gosh. Casablanca is like a really great movie. You like old movies? Yeah, to yeah. Movies? I like older movies. I love like Alfred Hitchcock movies. I love Vertigo. Um, newer movies. I'm trying to think. Oh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's a movie that came out recently that mm -hmm. I really enjoyed. That you was. like Quentin Tarantino? Yeah, I love Quentin Tarantino movies. I'm a huge fan. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so we got some music here, too. We, uh, when I was talking to her yesterday, um, I asked her at some of her favorite artists of things to listen to. Just so, because this is, you know, this is vinyl. We're supposed to be vinyl community, so I better show some vinyl in this video so I don't get in trouble for having a gorgeous girl on and no vinyl. <laughs> so... We picked some of her favorite artists and I'll let her hold. I picked some out and she can hold them up and she can just sort of like say what she likes yeah. about these artists. If she has certain Ooh. songs that she likes that she can think of. I, I probably put, should have brought some of my own vinyl because I do have some. But you, it's, do, you play, do you have vinyl? I do I have some vinyl. You. I do. But it's like kind of like lugging all my stuff here. It's like so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you buy records and you play records. I do have like, it's sort of uh, not like a regular thing for me. It's kind of like an event when I take out my record <laughs> and play my records. You have uh, but, uh, what type of record? I have, like, have a, one? like a vintage, like a portable one. An older one? Like yeah, a really old one? yeah, a really old one. Actually, getting the needle changed on that thing is like terrible i have to go to room so it's way is it one of those suitcase the old suitcase yeah, styles yeah, oh yeah. so it's not like the new suitcase yeah. the cheap no, ones they get like, the old classic vintage yeah ones. yeah i've got to go to ring audio i don't even know if they still exist in toronto i think they do or yeah. you could check bay blur or something too because they there. couldn't help me last time really? i asked yeah i think they had some sort of like fisher price vintage needle or something on my record player it wasn't even like a standard thing they found like some dead stock thing to put on it and i'm like <laughs> yeah. if that needle goes i don't know if it's ever going to get going again <laughs> but yeah well no vintage rec uh i know a guy in port credit you can check with him um i'll message you the name um because okay. he's across from the record store i go to and he fixes all sorts of old audio equipment he, he's like he okay, works good. miracles so, that's... so i'll ask my buddy <laughs> what the name of his store is because he actually might be able to help you yeah that'll be uh and i'll message you that'll time. be a welcome uh, relief because and uh, <laughs> uh we have somebody looking for a, a shout out well i don't know who you are so i, I can't shout out somebody i don't know <laughs> david ellis hey david ellis how you doing buddy and uh, Shout out to David. That, thank you, Nick. That's it. Thank you for timing out the, the unknowns. That's just what we're going to do today. Just time out the unknowns. So let's get to some of her favorite okay. artists. Yeah. So you can start with this one here. I need to Beach pull. Boys. So that would make Mason happy. <laughs> the Beach Boys. I would say probably my favorite Beach Boys song is Good Vibrations and Surfer Girl is a close second. Oh, really? Really? That's funny you mentioned that. You just keep going on there. Um, <laughs> don't leave me. I'm not leaving you. I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> like, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Like, here you go. Oh, oh my gosh. This is cool. I've never seen this, actually. I've just, you know, listened to You can show to that it. one to the crowd. That this album a there. album cover. I bought this album when I was uh, an early teen, and I bought it because of the cover. I went to the yeah. store, I saw this gorgeous blonde beach girl on the cover. I'm like, who who knows who she was, whatever became of her. But I bought this album because I just absolutely loved this this cover. I, I love the matching stripes and her bikini. That is like 
album cover. So you got Surfer there. Girl. And the yeah. Surfer Girl is my favorite Beach Boys song. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's that, that's, so that's there cool. we go. I know. That's kind of cra crazy. Yeah. All right. Next up. Next up is Elvis. And I think I Want You, I Need You, I Love You is my favorite Elvis song. Do you have Elvis now? Do you have Beach Boys albums at home? I do. I have like a some mix one i think endless something summer? like this endless Some, summer endless summer so. probably. That, was their most, that was their most popular everybody seems to have endless yeah summer. yeah i think i found it at like value and Gold elvis you have you have El elvis i have his uh 68 special uh and i also have some like mix like some ktel whatever 50 stuff that has elvis on it there you go she mentioned ktel again for you jj <laughs> she has a ktel <laughs> and james winston is uh, yes james winston Another regular is a huge Elvis fan. So awesome. He's so easy on you're, the you're appealing too. to everybody because Mason loves the Beach Boys. James loves uh, Elvis. And James did a room tour not too long ago and he showed all his Elvis Presley oh, uh, nice. pictures on his wall and stuff. I actually went to Graceland a number of years ago. Uh, that was pretty, that was pretty cool. <laughs> and that's right, David Ellis. The Clash is London Calling album. The cover was a tribute to that Elvis yep. Presley yep. album cover. Yeah. You know, like Clash? Yes, like my ex partner is like a massive Clash fan, so he had the big poster of that. Oh, cover really? Cool. And everything, yeah. Cool. My daughter, I had, used to, I had a Clash, one of those t shirts with the, the London Calling on it, and my daughter commandeered it because it's uh, cool now for the teenagers. I know, I know. A lot of these teenagers wearing shirts, they don't even know the band. At least my I daughter knows the band because cool. she got dad yeah. listening to them. So, yeah. But yeah, my daughter likes to stolen my Rush shirts and my, like a lot of my old concert shirts from back in the day, like vintage concert shirts. I always keep my concert shirts. So I have all these vintage concert shirts from oh, the, the yeah. 80s and 70s. Some of those and she's are worth so much money And now. she wears them now. That's like the coolest thing for the kids to wear these classic concerts. She's wearing who, you know, who concert shirts. And I know. Rush I and all these things. Having to like, you know, comb through the aisles at like Goodwill or whatever. Home yeah, now you can sell them stuff. on eBay. You can sell old concert shirts and even old ticket stubs. You can oh, sell yeah. them on eBay for a fortune. Oh, yeah. So next up. Sinatra. I grew up with a lot of Sinatra. My dad's favorite music artist is probably Sinatra. He's got like all the albums. My favorite Sinatra song is Witchcraft. Witchcraft, is that on there? Yes, it is actually. Is it on it? Yep, side two. There you go, Witchcraft, Sinatra. Next up. Now, so that's, those are all the older <laughs> yeah. artists. Just a few, any other older that, artists you really the, like? Older artists? Older artists. Um, the Shangri-Las. The Leader of the Pack? Yes, was, that's like one of my karaoke songs. That was Shangri-La's <laughs> The Lion Sleeps Tonight or that was somebody else, wasn't it? Yeah. Shangri-La's was like, definitely Leader of the Pack. Yeah, it? yeah, definitely. Yeah, Shangri-La's, The Supremes. The Supremes. That's something I need to get back in my collection is some, yes. some Supremes. I yes, need to get some Motown Supremes stuff. vinyl. I have Motown, but I don't I have Stevie Wonder, but I don't have some Supremes. Next up, she's so now we're for gonna, something completely different. <laughs> it's like a Monty Python movie. Yeah. And now for something completely different. That's a great movie. <laughs> Cardi B. <laughs> I have been following Cardi B since this album, which I was surprised Anthony had. I figured you would have the newer album. No, I actually got this is a record store day only release. So Gangsta Biatch Music Volume One. Um, Wash Poppin' is probably my favorite song Wash on there. Wash Poppin'. I wouldn't say that I love every song on this, but it's what got me into Cardi B. Is for it? sure. It, it's it's a bit more hardcore than her more main, like the stuff that she's been doing now is a little more mainstream. Mm. Like she, yeah, she, this like is Bruno definitely more. Mars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is more hardcore now. She's kind of commercialized with yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, and um, I, I I do like her new stuff. I think it's cool, and a lot of people think that her music, some of the like her Megan The Stallion, it's like. All these women coming out here with this sort of outrageous music. Uh, that's very. Sort of yeah, we were talking. Yeah, we were no, talking we were about this it. earlier. <laughs> yeah, they were the ex strippers. I mean. Yeah. Cardi yeah. B was an ex stripper. Megan Thee Stallion, I believe, was also an ex stripper. If I'm not mistaken, I think. Um, but a lot of these, yeah, girls coming from doing pretty outrageous music is very, very popular. And it's really no different than what male rappers have been doing for the past. You made Miranda. However many years. He made Miranda happy. He said, Woo! We're, we're soul sisters. I love Sinatra. So that awesome. was Miranda Halter. <laughs> Next up. Uh, Doja Cat. 
I was uh, following her since her YouTube hit, Bitch, I'm a Cow. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a Cow? I don't think I've heard that one. <laughs> really? Oh, I'll we'll have to look that up afterwards. It's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> Bitch, yeah. I'm a Cow. Okay, okay, we go. Everybody, let's check out Bitch. Everybody look up Bitch, I'm a Cow later. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah she's got some really catchy stuff that i've really enjoyed really fun stuff and of course she sings been singing with a lot of famous artists now doing collaborations with a lot of people now yeah. she's really blown up in the last year yeah yeah Big so time. i'm happy for her because i she's sort of quirky i like her style she's got some neat stuff <laughs> Miranda, Miranda, Miranda called and says i'm gonna start saying that randomly now bitch i'm a cow <laughs> Oh, you started something. Oh, it's going to get stuck in your head, this song. You're going to be going moo at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone will know what I'm saying once they listen to the song. Let's say, how about them, <laughs> what's that? How about them cow, <laughs> cow, cow emoji? Is that what you're trying to put there, a cow emoji? <laughs> All right, next up, Toronto's own. Drake. I feel like people are kind of sick of Drake in Toronto. I don't Lots know. Of, I like Drake. I, I'm still not sick of him. I still like him a lot. At least he—he he, the, the good thing about Drake is he's one of those music stars that hasn't forgot where he came from. Because a lot yeah. of Canadian artists, Justin Bieber, a lot of these artists. They pretend they're American. Yeah, they pretend they're American. They get famous. They head off down south, south of the border, and they just... Say, they you know, forget all about us. They forget all about us. Drake. Drake's supports, always repping the six. Is right. He's there with the Raptors. I mean, they he he's trying to trying to tap you know the Scotiabank Arena, which was of yeah. course the ACC before that. Yep. And then they changed it to the stupid Scotiabank. He wants to buy that arena and change it to the Drake Arena. So, but Scotiabank's got like a lease on it, you know. So I feel like that would also be kind of weird because. It's not owned by Drake, but there's the Drake General Store. Yeah, Drake he wants Hotel. to put, you know, that. There's a whole bunch of Drake stuff already in Toronto that isn't even Drake's. Yeah, I don't think he's going to call it the Drake. I, I, oh, okay. I can't remember what the name was going to be, but it's going to have that bird symbol thing that he has oh, on his plane yes, on the it. OVO the OVO thing. The OVO thing, that, you know, the symbol that he has for himself on, yeah. his, on all his stuff. So any particular favorites by Drake? Songs you like by Drake? This I know you said in views. particular, Controla. I think, and Child's Play were my favorite songs off this album. But yeah, honestly, I, I Western Road flows. I'm actually moving to like Western Road, so that's going to really? be my new favorite song. But you're, where are you now? You're downtown somewhere? I'm near High Park. So oh, you're high, near High Park. Oh, you're not too far beautiful... from that. Not far from me, really. I thought you were downtown it's, for some reason. Well, it's funny because if I take transit to Mississauga, it's like takes like an hour and a half, whereas if it's a drive, it's like 20 minutes. So... <laughs> Say So by Doja Cat is actually good, says Jorgen S. It is. And left break via. I don't quite, I don't get your uh, quick statement there, left break. And here's Robert, Robert Walker. Hey, Robert, how you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. I'm going to make you mod too. Everybody's being behaving themselves today, which is nice. That's always good. I was kind of like, you know, waiting for someone to get on there. So far, people have behaved They're themselves. They're into me. <laughs> and if I was here by myself, the trolls would already be at it. They're, the trolls have probably been all humbled by her beauty, right? They don't know what to say. They're just like, ah. They're just like, ah, 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 can't talk in front of a beautiful woman. <laughs> My boyfriend, got he's always on YouTube. He was very excited that I was doing a live stream. He's like, oh, you got to get on YouTube. You got to start making videos. Is he videos. watching? He should have told him. Where, yeah, he was like, I want to watch. I want to. I was like, don't, don't. I'm going to freak out. He can watch it after. He can yeah. watch it after. That's what I told him. I was like, if I don't look like a total weirdo and it's on afterwards, you can watch it. Now we got the trolls coming in. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hello, trolls. Hi, trolls. But but it's good because we got the moderators all. Just, what did they say? I don't, well, they what did they say? They time. Well, we don't know because we missed it because they get timed out. Oh. Okay. So all these people with the blue, they they time out any of the trolls that come in. So anybody comes in, puts a bad comment, these other people will kick them out right away. It's very kind of them. Thank you, trolls, for a th thank you, trolls. Thank you, thank you, mods, for taking care of the trolls. Much appreciated. Um, and we will continue on with our next artist. Okay. My boyfriend will like this one. Ariana Grande. 
<laughs> he likes, does he like Ariana? He too? can't stand her. No, really? He can't stand her. He said something about her is so annoying. He doesn't like her music. He doesn't like her attitude. He doesn't like anything. So it's funny her because <laughs> I, I, I got, I bought her second album years ago, even before my daughter got into Ariana Grande, I got her second album on CD and I loved it. And then shortly after my daughter, of course, started watching Ariana on Victorious and Sam and Cat, these, these Nickelodeon shows and got yeah. into her. And then of course my daughter got heavily into her and that's her favorite artist now. Yeah. But I have everything Ariana did on vinyl. I think she's. A, I, I think she's a great singer. I think she is. She's, she's vocally, the real deal. Vocally very talented. Like I don't know if you've seen her. I think it was SNL. She was doing impersonations of other singers, mm. and they were like spot on. Yeah, I saw her she's doing that. I, I think I saw her doing that same thing on um, one of the talk shows, Jimmy Kimmel, or or one of the. Oh, she maybe did, that was it. Yeah, yeah, SNL. and she did the she did the vocal impersonations. Yeah. But she's a real deal. People go, oh, she's just an auto tuned bimbo and blah blah blah. No, yeah. because I saw the tour with her. Uh, 2019 mm -hmm. with my daughter, saw her here in Toronto, and you can't you can't auto tune on a stage. That's the real deal. Once you're out there singing to the public, that's the real deal. Yeah, and I think people have to remember too. I mean, some of these women are doing these crazy choreographed dance routines, and you know, sometimes there might be a little like pre-recorded spot where they're like running across, catching their breath, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. you know. But they're, they're uh, Ariana's doing a lot. great. Ariana's great. Do have, now, do you have favorite songs from Ariana? Uh, honest, I think what, probably one of my favorites was Thank You Next. Thank You Next? I'm still not sick of it. <laughs> Did, have you heard her new? You must have heard her new album. I've heard her new stuff. Like, yeah, I, I like some of that stuff. It's, um, I'm still liking Ariana Grande. I'm not sick of her yet. No, she's, I think she's, uh, she's going to have that, you know, like Lady Gaga's got that legendary, you know, after 10 years, Lady Gaga's, I think, gained the respect of most people. A lot of people, yeah. a lot of people probably kicked her off in the first couple albums. But I think Lady Gaga over the years has gained the respect. And I think Ariana will give her time. Uh, yeah, she'll gain that yeah. same respect down the line. I like Taylor Swift and stuff. You know? Okay, next up, uh, your last. this is the last one we're going to show from you. Caliuchis. Again, I've been following her for a few years. And it's nice to see that with this last album, it sounds like she's finally getting kind of popular. So. And a lot of people may not know who she is. I just got this album only a few weeks ago. It's a fantastic album. And describe describe the style of that music, I'll, if you I'll can, try. if you can. It's it's like it's not hip hop. It's, it's not. It's like a, a a summer's breeze. <laughs> on okay. vacation. It's <laughs> that's what but, the album's like. But she's not know. really like it's sort of hip hop. -y, it's sort of R and B, but it's also got. Yeah, I, I see. Her, I see old stuff like old fifties and sixties yeah. pruner. Yeah, she Style kind of, of reminds me of Amy Winehouse a bit. There's something there, like moments in her voice where I kind of mm -hmm. like. There's that sort of throwback element. And music. she's and she's and she and she talks uh, sp sings in Spanish, of course, Spanish and a little bit of English, mostly Spanish. But yeah, she's done some yeah, bit of both. She's like collaborated with people like Tyler the Creator. Mm. Um, so she's sort of collaborated in some other sort of genres as well, which is. Need I know um, Kay Trinata. I don't know if you're familiar. No, I'm not familiar with him. Um, he sort of does like R&B, hip hop, rap, kind of like electronic mixed stuff. Mm. Um, but yeah, this mm. is a great spin. So anybody out there, this, uh, don't let the cover fool you. <laughs> Telepatia is the the single and I think my favorite song. For yeah, song. that's a great spin. It's really kind of sexy, slow. Yeah, kind of got that like lounge said, singer like kind of It's like you're on vacation. You're yeah, on a, yeah. You're on a lounge chair by the pool with yeah. the breeze going through your hair. This box. is going to be her breakout <laughs> album. I think we're going to be seeing a lot from her yeah, in the next I few years. Yeah, I think so too. I, I've, I'm kind of surprised it's taken this long. Yeah. I've been yeah, because her. I remember seeing her first album when it came out, and I, I really didn't pay it any attention. It's like 2016 or something. Yeah, that one with the blue cover, and she's in like in a red dress, and, and yeah, I didn't yeah. pay much attention to it. But then that, I got this, and I loved this album. And I went back to find the other one now, and of course it's sold out everywhere. You can't even find a copy of it now because now that she's kind of blown up with this album, the earlier album is now. I know, I know. I, when you told me that, I was like, "Dang, I've been listening to her for that long. I should have bought that album. <laughs> Could have sold it to you." <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, who do we have in the uh, uh, vinyl archivist? Let's give him a wrench. Vinyl archivist has got a wrench. We'll give Stunty a wrench. Um, POV, give you a wrench. A wrench makes them uh, able to knock people out. 
So any questions, people? Any questions? We've gone through the music. Any other new artists that you listen to? Any other artists? Do you, listen? do you listen to any, like, classic rock or any stuff, 80s stuff? Or Oh, yeah. I like some, some 80s stuff. Actually, my favorite 80s artist, and this is very obscure, is Christina. Christina. And she is, like, the Madonna that never was. Like, she should have been bigger than she was. She was kind of edgy. She had this kind of, like... I oh, bet you, Jorgen, stuff. Jorgen, if you're still there, I bet you, Jorgen, know who's Christina, who Christina is. Jorgen is from Sweden. Jorgen Essie's, I believe, you're in Sweden, right, Jorgen? You're in Sweden. He's a big fan of uh, pop music and this and that. Oh, okay. Yeah, Christina's album, Sleep It Off, is probably one of my favorites, like, of all time. And that's an obscure album. <laughs> uh, do you like the Beatles from James? The Beatles, yeah. I mean, who who doesn't like the Beatles? Does anyone hate the Beatles? Like, <laughs> <laughs> does, yeah. Does anybody? Hate the Beatles? Do you have any, any? Do you have a song? Um, the Beatles that you like? One that you can think of off the top oh of your head? Oh my gosh. Uh, I can't off the top of my head. Like, do you like like the really old stuff, like the early '60s pop and stuff, or more of their, you know, Hey Jude and all that stuff? I like the earlier stuff, the more bop and stuff. The more bop and stuff. Cool. Uh, Tublo. Somebody just mentioned Tublo. Do you know Tublo? Yes, you I like do. Tublo. Just want to stay high all the time. <laughs> that, that, I, I don't listen to a lot, but um, that, that song was really good. I'm just going to scroll back, see if anybody else uh, has uh, said anything in here. What does your boyfriend say about your photos? He loves them. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually talking about that on the car on the way here yeah he was like you're lucky i'm so supportive he's like it's because the photos are great i love the photos um somebody was a, a big fan of Degre degrassi did you watch degrassi back in the day no i never did i think really? i was just like at the right i was just a little bit too young I think when it was sort of really big so i didn't because really of course drake it. drake was the character yeah on yeah i remember that I actually met one of the characters from Degrassi, and I, I can't remember his name, but he was like, he hated being associated with the show. He was so upset about it. He would, he was telling me he'd get upset when people would ask him for autographs and stuff. And then I think of like, you know, Drake and stuff. It's like he should have capitalized on that. <laughs> yeah, um, it's funny because you mentioned that. I don't know if you remember. I don't, I don't. I think when you and I first started working together, I did. I don't think Cheyenne ever assisted me on any of the shoots with you, did she? Nope. Because yeah, nope. I had an assistant. Her name was Cheyenne. Oh. You know Cheyenne. You've seen her pictures um, yeah. on my feeds and whatnot. Uh, Cheyenne was a model that I first started working with when she was very young uh, through through her parents, actually. Uh, Kate brought, brought her to me and worked with her. And then Cheyenne modeled for many, many years with me. And I actually hired her as my assistant. And so Cheyenne became a make. She, my, my Cheyenne took up makeup artistry. So she did a lot of makeup on a lot of my models. If you look at okay. some of my behind the scenes things, you'll see her doing the makeup on the models. She did makeup on the models. Uh, she modeled, she assisted me with everything. She helped me edit pictures. She helped me work on my website, everything. Cheyenne was my right hand. And Cheyenne appeared on the last season of Degrassi. Second, ah. uh, well, the sixth, not the last season because then it went to Netflix. Mm -hmm. But Cheyenne was actually a, uh, a character on Degrassi. Good for her. For that's a like season. A, that's she like an season. iconic like Canadian show. So. Yeah. So she was a she, my assistant was a was a, a character on I think it was the fourteenth season of Degrassi. So it's funny we brought that up. Uh, what else before we go because we're gonna get to shooting pretty soon. Was that actually like forty five? Yeah. You see, time flies. Okay, you're right. You're right. That did go fast. Time I was flies. like, what am I gonna do up here for forty five minutes? Time flies. Great Swedish pop art. Ah, there we go. Great. Uh, Stratmar Confusion says great Swedish pop artist. And I'm sure now is that, is that for Tovlo, I think. Tovlo? Sweden and Jorgen there. Sweden and No, I've, I have never heard of Christina, uh, unfortunately. Real, I'm surprised. I am surprised, Jorgen, that you have not heard of Christina. I'd heard of Christina. Oh, so, good, good. She actually passed away last year from uh, COVID, which was sad. Miranda Holder said, did you ever see any of The Handmaid's Tale being filmed in Toronto? No, but I actually know some people that have done, like, background stuff for it. And I just keep meaning to, like, I need to somehow get in there. <laughs> That's funny. Well, my best friend, my absolute best friend here in Toronto, uh, Jose, he's my, my dear friend. He works 
four movie studios and he works on the set of Handmaid's Tale. Oh my gosh. See, I know enough people that have been involved. I should. He works on the set of, he did 12, he worked on the 12 Monkeys series set. He works on Handmaid's Tale. He does, he currently is working on a number of movies being filmed in Toronto. He works for a movie product production company. He's my good friend. Yeah. And uh, he's worked, yeah, he works on Handmaid's Tale. Lots of good stuff going on in Toronto. Even uh, The Boys, I don't know if anyone's watched that. That's one of my favorite shows. Uh, a bunch of that was filmed in Toronto. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. Any questions, people, before the stream it, it ends? You better get there because <laughs> we got work to do. She and I are going to, we're going to film a little bit. We're going to film a little something for one of my videos um, that's going to be appearing at a later date on my channel. So we're going to do a little, she's going to help me film a little something for that. Uh, we're going to shoot a few records and things for my Instagram and stuff. We're going to have a little fun shooting some some records and cassettes and CDs. And then we got some modeling work to do as well. She's going to be doing some modeling. And I can't stream this modeling. Sorry, guys, because she's not going to have, <laughs> she's not going to have anything on. So, <laughs> so I, <laughs> I put it bluntly because <laughs> that's what she does. Unfortunately, not YouTube friendly. Yes. Now... There's a question for you. Like, I know you're an art, an art nude model. Maybe explain what art nude model is to people. Because a lot of people look at nude models and go, I have porn, blah, blah, blah. What's an art nude model? What's the, where do you go and you don't go when you, when you model? I think a lot of it is the, the angles and the photography, the hair and makeup. Like, art nude is a lot more paired back, usually. You like, not crazy glam makeup. The poses are sort of more soft and feminine. You're not standing there with your hands on your hips and your legs open. Like, <laughs> like I, I think, I wish I had some examples of stuff that I've done that's glamour and art nude, but yeah, I can't you have to check out myself. my Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go. just check out her Instagram. Ellie, what's You'll your, see Ellie, a whole range. At Ellie Claire. Ellie Claire Model. At Ellie Claire Model. On her Instagram, you can see all sorts of stuff. And, uh. And that's that. Um, now, I was going to, when you were saying that, I was going to ask you, do you do many cl shoots that require no nudity? Or do you just prefer, like... I'm trying to think. I'm <laughs> like, sometimes, sometimes someone will want me to bring an outfit. I, I did, like, a couple of shots in High Park last year, which was bizarre because, first of all, I'd been wearing, like, sweatpants for you know, months and months. And then I had to put on a dress and heels and that was weird. <laughs> um, You're not a person that dresses up? Do you, how you... No, no, I mean, before, before the pandemic, for sure, I'd be going out and stuff, going out to a restaurant, going out to a club, wearing heels. It was just like, it was very strange to be wearing clothes on a photo shoot. And then after I hadn't worn real clothes for a really long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we all been at home in our you know, like you said, sweatpants Even me. and t-shirts. I don't look this glamorous uh, ever. <laughs> oh, come on. You always look glamorous. You have natural beauty, please. Please. You can't say that. Because you're not, you're not like, you're not one of these people who wears like a ton of makeup and all that stuff. That's true. I am not. Yeah, I, mean, I, I have models. I have models that, you know, I they, they walk in and they are so caked with makeup. They probably have to use a chisel to get it off. I wore my fake eyelashes for you today. Oh. <laughs> 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 Do you not normally wear your fake eyes? Just... No, actually. Really? Not. For yeah. shoots, you rarely wear, wear them? Wow. Yeah, it depends on the shoot. If it's a more glam shoot, like, because I know we're going to shoot, like, some more kind of, like, glam stuff a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But I figured, you know, I'll put on the fake eyelashes. But, yeah, normally not. Yeah, normally you're pretty, not. you're pretty, pretty basic. Pretty down. Natural beauty, right, folks? Natural beauty. She doesn't need makeup. That's I find nice. I find, no, but I find. The trolls that... are going to disagree with you. Yeah, no, the trolls are no <laughs> trolls. We're, we're good. Um, I find personally that a lot of the models I've met in my career that wear a lot of makeup, when they take the makeup off, their skin is so bad. Oh. And I think a lot of it has to do with just because they're wearing so much makeup all the time. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure a lot of those girls have changed their ways now that we're wearing masks all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, see, it's good for you. Like I had, I did a, a bikini shoot thing about a month ago. And of course, that was still, we were still lockdown situation. So everybody had to wear a mask and this and that. And they didn't want to wear their mask too much because they had so much makeup on. They're like, well, if I wear my mask, even just put it on, it's going to ruin the makeup job. Oh, yeah. So we just had to keep it really social distanced and all that. But but I can understand the you know, models, 
do a lot of makeup. Oh yeah, that's for sure been a nightmare traveling to shoots and stuff. Uh, what's this? Uh, would you ever want to be on a record album cover? Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I would not say no to that. I would love that. I would. That's bucket list stuff right there. Yeah, record, <laughs> yeah. Co record album cover. Maybe we should contact uh, Project Gemini. Huh? I'll contact Mark and see if we can get her on a on, on a on a Project Gemini cover to spice things up. <laughs> but I don't think I don't think it'll happen. What can I say? And hello, Vinyl Kicks. Nice to see you here. We're gonna we're gonna end this pretty soon. So I'll give you guys a couple more minutes to ask a couple more questions. Uh, anything else you want to tell us? About, talk about future plans. Hopefully more live YouTube stuff so I'm not so awkward next time. Yeah. Was she awkward, guys? She was great. Come on. She was absolutely great. Um, but you're you're heading out to BC. For yep. how long are you going to BC for? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yep. So I'm doing a bit of a modeling tour and I'm visiting my sister. So a bit of a vacation. Where in BC? Are you going to the I'm island? I'm going like... kind of, yeah. I'm going to Vancouver. I'm going to Victoria. I'm going to Kelowna. I'm going to go to so many wineries. I can't wait. Wineries? Yeah. Are you a big wine drinker? Okay. I, I don't want to say I'm a big wine drinker, but <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy a glass now and again. That's definitely my drink of choice. Really? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, and so any other, any other plans so now that things are starting to hopefully, hopefully come out? Hopefully now? I'm going back to the U.S. for some more work. I mean, I had plans before the pandemic that got canceled. Um, what plans were those? Where, you, where were you heading off to? Uh, I was just, I was planning to shoot with SIG models in uh, like near Boston near so Boston. I was and then you know I figured from there I'd hit up some other photographers and just see what I could tour like, around yeah tour around so hopefully that's in the works again I think uh well if there's any photographers <laughs> watching Ellie Claire at Ellie Claire model .com, I think they people can contact you through there too you have an email uh, email uh connected to your Instagram or they just dm you oh or? dm is generally the dm or any photographers out there watching want to uh Ali Claire model at hotmail.com. Yeah, That's... I want to work with this beautiful lady. <laughs> Do that. And uh, any last questions? Anybody say anything? Because we're going to end it otherwise. Uh, prefer women who don't wear much makeup. Natural beauty appeals to more to me. That's vinyl and kicks. Oh, that's very nice. I, I'm a great, I'm a big, I, I'm the same. I'm not big on, and if you look at my resume and you look at all the models I've worked with, I don't work with, I've worked with the odd one, but I'm not big on the models with the with the fake everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellie's all natural, but got nothing fake so far. <laughs> she's the real deal. No, no auto tuning. No, no, no auto tuning on on Ellie. No face tuning. <laughs> no face tuning. No boob tuning. No, no, no more anything tuning. She's the real deal. But I, I don't. I, I kind of shy away from working with models that, with the with the boltons and all that because I know there's some photographers only work with those sort of models. Yeah. I know photographers in Toronto that they will only work with the ones that have had all this I work done think from for me like uh, it kind of limits you what what kind of style of modeling you can do no one's gonna want to shoot art nudes with someone that has the big like yeah because they just they're just like they're there they're there they don't move when uh, when the model lies down they're still up and there so they're it's... pointing in two different directions <laughs> <and> like... <laughs> <laughs> that's true it's true <laughs> Add a girl, there, there, Miss, May, <laughs> Miss Mayhem. Hey, Miss Mayhem. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Miranda. Nice to see. Nice to see all quite a few ladies in here. Today. I know that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, Miss Mayhem is out of uh, Pennsylvania. Danielle, I don't know where you're from. Danielle, where are you from? Danielle, are you in California? I'm guessing or something. Miranda, you're on the East Coast, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, nice to see you guys in here. Women supporting the women. It's good to good to have. Not just a bunch of guys in here checking out the, the pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it goes. It's, it's usually how it goes. I'm okay with it still. <laughs> but this is Allie Claire. I hope you enjoyed this a little. Yeah, thank uh, you for stream. having me. Thank you for thank you for agreeing to do this because I know you don't. Know you don't do this stuff normally. But she was great, huh, guys? She was great. Thank you. And we're gonna get on to doing some photography work now. So uh, maybe I'll see you guys later tonight. But I'm heading out to the drive-in tonight, maybe, weather permitting. Drive-in movie. Uh, Drive-in movie. Oh my they gosh! They opened that's so this cool. weekend. They opened. I so, thought. I thought for like. I thought it was so silly. They were all closed. Like, I know. The time. I know. I know. They they closed them down. They said no. You can't reopen those. Like it's like why? Everybody's sitting in their car, and the cars are social distance. Yeah. Anyhow, it's every other parking space. 
But anyway, so, so they great. opened, yeah, they, they opened uh, just this past week. I bought my ticket. You have to buy your ticket online beforehand and all that stuff. What movie are you going to see? So my daughter and I are going tonight for the drive-in, finally to get out of this house. What movie? <laughs> uh, we're going to see In a Quiet Place 2. Oh, okay. The first and one And was... The Third Conjuring. Oh, you it's guys a, like it, some, it, like, scary stuff. And it's going to be a triple bill, and I think there's the new Mortal Kombat is the third one, if we can stay awake for the third oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> third, one, third one starts at, like, 1.30 in the morning, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But the kind, yeah, we like the Conjuring, and my daughter like she daughter like father, you know, like father like daughter. She likes the scary movies. So. Yeah, yeah. And that's it, guys. We're going. Yes, you were amazing, Ellie says James. Uh, thanks, guys. And Miranda Halter, uh, uh, a quiet place too is great. So I'll see you guys. You know. We'll see you guys all soon. I'll see you guys in Rachel's live stream and so on and so forth. We're gonna go and do some photography work now. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Take care.